Kacang banyak ya. You know, they misspelled the name. Ya 
ينبغي أن آتي بها أيضا وستسمع صوتي وتكون رعية واحدة وراع
among you. Demetrius, the hierarch and shepherd of this holy vicariate, may the Lord our God remember the clergy who serve with me. George, the vicar, Jerius, Hisa, Thaddeus, Lucromanos, Spiridon, Hannah, the priest, along with their families, and the deacons, Lazarus, Nathaniel, Joseph, James, Nectarios, along with their families. May remember those who serve in the altar, those who chant, those who sing in the choir, the members of this holy community of the parish of St. Peter and Paul. May remember the people of the Middle East, especially those of Palestine, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, Sinai, and Northern Africa. May remember the widows, the widowers, the orphans of this world, and all those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. May remember those who suffer and those who labor for God's holy word. May remember the servant of God, Melutin the priest, his presidenta Josefina, and their newly born child, Novak. May remember those who join us in the community and fellowship of prayer. May remember all those whom each of you call to mind in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, through the ages of ages.
the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No matter how you struggle 
no matter what you try to do. You will always be wrong in someone's eyes, but you must see that you are correct and proper and true in the eyes of God. For he came into this world to scatter the darkness and the storm clouds of the rain. He came to give light and to give life, to give hope to a world that was so far astray from God's word that we had fallen from the path of nature and truth. And yet in his mercy and his love, he came down on earth and took form. And he dwelt amongst us. And he gave the example to his disciples and they passed it on to the shepherds of the church, to the clergy. And it is that which you receive today, not only the grace of the priesthood, but also the lifestyle that you must have. Because there will be times when your patience will be tested. There will be times when your body says, I can't go any longer. There will be times when your heart will be shattered and broken. And in all those moments and difficulties, you must remember first and foremost the example of Christ. And then what St. Paul reminds us, saying, to be his imitator, because he's an imitator of Christ. And you must imitate Saint Nectarius, the good shepherd, the wonderful clergyman, the one who, no matter what anyone said or did, kept his vision and his eyes on Christ and the light which come from him. You're no longer just the deacon, but now you become the priest, Abuna, Khuri, and your wife, Khuriya. I wish that I could speak Arabic to say a few words to you and the congregation. But you have been called, like I have been, to minister in this land. And while you may have the Arabic language as a mother tongue or a first language, we now live in the United States and you must share the word of truth with people who speak other languages. And you will only be able to do so if you speak through humility and love. The languages of men are nothing but clanging symbols. But the language of love which comes from Christ, which will have to pour out from your heart and your wife's heart, and from your family to a congregation and into an entire world, must be the language of love and humility. Orthodoxy and Christianity are not for us alone. They're for the whole world. You see, that's the problem of today's world. Christ is missing in most places. If Christ were present, there would be no cruelty, no savagery. There would be no injustice. There would only be love. And everything that we do would be done in His name, not in our name. As I often remind people, you see where our political leaders have taken us. To frustration, to war, to poverty. Not only poverty of food, poverty of soul. And the only people who can change that course in the way of the world are those who preach and live Jesus Christ. For the world has no other need, as it has never had any other need, but Jesus Christ. God saw our weaknesses and our trouble, society and our lives, and He took pity upon us and He sent His Son into the world to show us the way and to lead us. And you must give that same Christ and lead people to Him and show His way, not only to your congregation, but to every person that you come upon. Not only the homeless man on the street, but the woman behind the counter at Walgreens, or the person next to you pacing up and down, or perhaps the person in his automobile ready to squeeze in front of you. You must learn to be patient and kind, to be loving and understanding. And it is not to say that you are not already all of these things, but you must increase them, and you must multiply them, and take what God has given you 
and give it out to the world. Because as a priest, it's necessary for you to share what you possess. And if you possess Christ and his love, his mercy and his kindness, then you may give those things to the world and to all other people. Some time ago, as you know, the people from the Palestinian and Jordanian lands and other parts of the Middle East were searching for an identity and a place in the church. And the ecumenical patriarchate came to that response to establish a vicariate. And under the guiding hand of Father George and the other clergy, the loaves of bread had multiplied. There are no longer just five parishioners to fish. There are a multitude. And they require your assistance, your servants, your love, your obedience to Christ and his church, and of course to the patriarchate and to the holy archdiocese of America and his eminence, Archbishop Demetrius, who shepherds the flock. But you must not only work with Orthodox, you must work with Catholics, you must work with Protestants, Buddhists, perhaps Muslims. Because Christ is not to be kept in secret. He's meant to be shared and to be given to other people. You're not going to give Christ by preaching or waving a book. You're going to give Christ by living him and sharing him and bowing down before everyone and asking for their love, their forgiveness, and their mercy. This is indeed a special day because we remember Nectarios the Great, Nectarios the Humble, Nectarios who established a convent and the first abbess was blind. But he saw in her something special. I pray that you will look also behind the physical ailments of people and look into their hearts, as St. Nectarios did for the, the monastic, the nun Xen. That you'll be looked beyond the physical human being, but look for the spiritual person. Find that and cultivate them and be like St. Nectarios, who forgave, who loved, and he gave Christ to all people. If you are like him, and you have the potential to be, and you can be, you will give Christ to the world, and the world will change. Because when we stand before the judgment seat of Christ, he will ask you for the good account in your life, and you must give that to him. Your wife, your Korea, will always be next to you, as with the children. Your family, the congregation, but make sure that Christ is next to you. And the Theodotos, and St. Nectarios. And when you're tired, they're going to push you. When you feel weak, they're going to carry you. When you feel sad, they will give you joy. But come now and enter into the joy of the Lord who has called you to serve. For he said, you have not selected me, but I have called you out of the world. Come then to become a fisherman of men, a fisherman of people, men and women, who are thirsty and hungry for righteousness and truth in the name of Jesus Christ.
Axios. 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 Mustahim. Mustahim.
receive this divine trust and guard it until the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, when he will demand it back from you.
His love for all people always now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to you, may Christ our true God, who is wondrous amongst his saints. To the intercessions of the Immaculate Mother, the Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, the glorious prophet, forerunner John the Baptizer. For our Father amongst the saints, Nectarius, Archbishop, whose memory we commemorate upon this day, Saints Peter and Paul, the patron saints of this community, Saint John Chrysostom, the Archbishop of Constantinople's liturgy we have celebrated, all the saints may have mercy on us and save us, who is a good God who loves all people. Constantinople. Old Rome will go to New Rome. I will be your representative because I will be there. But Christians have to work together and I thank him for being here representing the Arabic Roman communities and I pray that our people are as good and as hospitable to you, Father, as you were by coming here. Along with those who serve in the altar and the choir under the direction of Nathan, who chanted the liturgy. I believe it is 12 o'clock noon, which means it's almost time for lunch. You see, we try to keep things moving because the congregation always complains and looks at the watches. But when you're in God's time, there's no need to watch. beloved Archbishop Nikitas with us today. Just uh, three, four days ago, we had uh, lunch in with his, we, we were also blessed to have lunch in with his, in his place in, uh, in Berkeley, myself and Father Nectarius. Okay? And we decided that day that our beloved Archbishop Nikitas is now family. <laughs> Uh, 
he was he was always and we were always in the family of Christ of course but now it's just uh, a personal thing and we love him and we hope he ordains many many people for us and now the, the blessing please our father who art in heaven, heaven. hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in two ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Master, bless. May Christ our God bless the food and the drink of which we will partake. May also bless the ministry of Father Nectarios, all the clergy here present and throughout the world. For he alone is blessed to the age of ages. Amen. Axios. Axios. I'm louder than all of you put together. Axios! Axios! Thank you. <laughs>